banished from the heroes party. So this show was on my radar for a while to watch. And uh, lo and behold, just as I'm like, maybe I'll start watching it. Uh, season two is announced. So season two will come in January. So I was like, perfect timing. Time to watch the show. So the premise of the show is very much a is pretty much a guy called Gideon, who he is the a member of the heroes party. Of course, the heroes are tasked with defeating the demon lord and all that stuff, right? You know, gener- generic hero stuff. Uh, Gideon is also the the older brother of the current uh, of the uh, of the hero, the deemed hero, um, Ruti. And Gideon is pretty much convinced, kind of manipulated by another member of the party, um, to leave. That he's useless. You you don't contribute anything to this team. You hold them back. Why are you here? And Gideon leaves. He he leaves and he goes off into the countryside and kind of just lives his life. And while you know he's living his life, he opens up an apothecary. You know, selling potions and medicine and all that type of stuff. He runs into another, uh, he runs into an adventurer, a well-known adventurer called Rit. And obviously she recognizes him from their past. And she pretty much goes, uh, once he kind of explains the whole spiel to it, uh, she kind of just decides, huh, I think I'm going to retire from adventuring too. So... The two of them pretty much run the apothecary. And from there, we get a nice, calm, fun show of, you know, uh, Gideon, who goes by the name Red now. Um, he and Rich just kind of run this apothecary and deal with kind of what goes on in the town. And it's very nice for a bit. Uh, near the end of the show, things do ramp up. So if you are afraid there's not going to be any action, there is. Uh, we do cut in between what the heroes party is doing and the heroes party stuff is very much like action oriented and uh, plot driven of them trying to stop the demon lord and all that stuff. And then eventually, you know, all the plots, the heroes plot interferes with Gideon and uh, sorry, with Red and Rit. You know, they all kind of combine together. Uh, so by the end, there is a big, 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 big fight. And like the last three episodes, I would say, is like all on the fight. Um but I was very happy with the show. Um, I I very much enjoyed it. it. It's not. It's pretty much what I wanted. Is the guy kind of goes away, goes to live in the countryside. He's super powerful, uh, living his life. Uh, maybe a bit of romance here and there, and then eventually he comes back to the heroes party and ends up saving the day. For the most part, that's that's pretty much what I wanted, and that's pretty much what you get. Uh, I am interested in season two. They do set up something for season two. I believe from what I've seen, they've uh, this first season adapts the first four books in the series. So season two will probably adapt the next four. Um, it's it's very, very, uh, it's a very, very nice show, especially the stuff with Ruti, the hero, and her journey. Um, I very much enjoyed that about her never wanting to be the hero she was just bestowed the blessing because that's how people get powers in this world they have these things called blessings so someone is blessed to be a swordsman someone's blessed to be a mage someone's blessed to be a hero right the hero's blessing is the rarest and most wonderful and powerful of them all and ruti's like i didn't ask for this blessing i've been given it but i didn't want it i just wanted to be me and seeing her journey through that is very interesting and very nice um so yeah, I am going, and there's a, this is a nice brother sister stuff. The stuff between Ruti and Red is very nice brother sister stuff. So overall, I'm going to give Banished from the Heroes Party a nice seven point five out of ten because while I do enjoy it, it's nothing super deep. Bar Ruti stuff, nothing super deep. It is very much cut and dry, but it's good cut and dry. It's a cut and dry you want. So um. If you've seen the show, let me know what you think in the comments below if you have it. I recommend giving it a shot. Season 2 is coming out in January, so this is the perfect time. You know, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it.